My dad was suffering from leukemia for about six months and having known Wendy before and sharing my, with my family and particularly my dad about her experience and her expertise and, and the fact that we trusted her, he got to a point where he was finally done with treatments and knew it was time for him to move on. And I lost my mom about 12 years previously and he was ready to, to go to that next chapter. And as he said, it's time to not give up but move on to his next um, chapter of life. And the first thing he said when he called me that morning was, I want you to come to the house and then I want you to call Wendy. And so I got to the house and we talked about making sure this was what he really wanted. And then I made a call to Wendy and wasn't sure what her schedule is, knowing how busy she is and told her the situation. And if she, in the next couple days, if she could call me or come out and I had a call within a few minutes and she just dropped everything and came right to us. And just seeing her kneel down by my dad and hold his hand and just at that time when you're faced with so many decisions about where things are going, you just need someone to come in and really be a comfort and answer those hard questions. And that's exactly what she did. But she, more than that, just really lifted all of us and helped us know that things were gonna be okay and kind of know what to expect and had things rolling within just a couple of hours. It was amazing. And through the whole process, there were times that I just thought this is one of the hardest things I've ever been through. But having her and really the whole staff being there with us and with my dad was just such a comfort at so many different times. and knowing that we didn't know what was going to happen and what to do or what to expect, but that we had someone who truly cared about us and cared about especially my dad and seeing the bond that started between the two of them and really helped through what could be made a really hard time much easier than, than it should have been. Matt was one of those guys that we hired as a part-time maintenance guy uh, when we first opened up the property. And uh, what impressed me about Matt from the very beginning is he would, um, he was our night guy. And as I would go home every day, Matt would stop by my office every single night and say, Scott, is there anything I can do for you? Every night he would do that. And I was very impressed by that. And Matt was working the desk one day at the hotel and we had a guest that stayed with us frequently and Matt knew him pretty well at this point and noticed that he came down to the lobby one day with um, a pair of dress slacks and tennis shoes on, and which was very unlike um, this gentleman, his name was Cliff. And he proceeded to talk to Cliff and said, hey, what's going on here? You don't normally wear dress pants. And, and uh, Cliff said, well, I've had an unexpected funeral that I've got to go to today. And he said, I'm a little bit of in a panic because I wasn't expecting to go to a funeral on this trip and I didn't bring any dress shoes. And Matt said, well, what size of shoe do you need? And he said, I wear a nine. And just so happened that Matt also wore a size nine. So Matt took his shoes off, gave them to Cliff, and Cliff said, seriously? And Matt said, yeah. Uh, so the guy took the shoes and Matt then, without any hesitation or even asking Cliff, took his tie off, gave him his tie as well. Cliff was blown away by the experience and uh, it's one of those experiences um, that only come around occasionally that, that are that cool. And uh, I think everybody in the company knows about this experience because it was so, so, so cool. So, you know, Cliff went from being or losing a friend to gaining a friend in the same day. So it was awesome. So Lynn, where do I start with Lynn? He's the executive director and he has touched so many lives in that position. He is one of those guys that really 
makes those heart-to-heart -heart connections. He gets to know people personally and care, knows about their family and asks about their family all the time. And um, he does that with the staff as well as the residents. So one day, he, we had an associate that came to the front desk talking to Rose, our administrative assistant, and she was going through a divorce. It was a really tough time for her, and she was saying that she couldn't take her kids to our company Lagoon Day, and you know, we, were, we were sad for her, we were trying to, trying to figure out what to do for her, but she went back to work, and Lynn called Rose into his office, and slips a hundred dollar bill to her and said don't tell her where it came from but I really want you to make it so she can take her family um, to Lagoon and, and have a, a great day with her kids and, and not have the stress of money so he, that's just one example of many that I saw Lynn do over the years I've worked with him. He's done a lot of sub for Santas and, and I, I some, a lot of it I'm sure I don't even know about, but he's really um, a loving, caring person. And to me, that's what personal touch is, is that heart-to-heart -heart connection, and Lynn's got it. I'd like to share with you an experience I had with personal touch. I wrote a letter to Ed, a manager, in the legacy community. Perhaps it would be better if I shared the letter with you personally. I would like to express my gratitude for the wonderful service that Angel gave to my mother. I always appreciated the love and kindness that she showed to my mom, but she was also there for me, inquiring how I was doing or simply there to give an encouraging word. Many employees do their duty but with others, you can tell that their care is genuine. Their service surpasses care and turns to compassion. Angel gave this kind of compassion. She literally went above and beyond. At one point, when I particularly needed it, I received an anonymous letter from someone that lifted my spirits and gave me encouragement to continue on. I wondered who wrote the handwritten heart note and suspected it was Angel, but she wouldn't admit it. Finally, though, I confirmed what I had all along thought. Angel was the angel. While attending an activity along with my mother, I recognized Angel's handwriting as she wrote on a whiteboard. This letter means so much to me, even to this day. I keep the letter with my scriptures and use it as a bookmark. Thank you for hiring wonderful associates like Angel. It means so much to the families when they can see that your service and care is accompanied with love.